Smedley Butler III says, Pat, what if hype, what if hyperinflation is their goal? What if it is their final phase? What if the people have to be brought to their knees before they'll accept the world digital ID system, Hegelian dialectic? Listen, a lot of people agree with you and believe what you're saying, and we know what Hegelian dialectic is, and it's a strategy that's worked effectively by big governments for a long, long time. So I'm not weighing that out. I'm not telling you there's not a group of people that are not planning to do that at the top. I'm just telling you I don't think it's everybody. I think there's certain people that want to do the right thing. I think there's certain people that, that think uh, 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 are not coming from that standpoint. But I do believe the people that are the puppet masters behind closed doors have some things like that in mind because they're driven by control. They love control, and they hate rich people. They hate anybody that got rich under this system because they want it to be you know, taken away from them because they can't stand the fact that these guys, independently, not needing the government, ended up being successful. I've said this mm. before. I'll say it again. A parent, when they lose the, 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 the need of their kid saying, if you don't do this, I'm not going to buy that. When the kid eventually gets to a point and says, Mom, I don't give a shit. I'll buy it myself. That yeah. control is gone. And a mom and a dad is like, wait a minute, I feel like I just lost my child. I feel like I just lost my child. You didn't lose your child. He became independent. These politicians are thinking they're still the mother, the nanny state to say, you need us. You need us. And the people are like, I don't need you. I can independently take care of myself. Mm -hmm. Just leave me alone. Let's coexist and enjoy these every once in a while family gatherings that we have every four years when we got to vote for the next president. But outside of that, leave me alone. Well, and the people that are pushing these policies are phenomenally wealthy within themselves. Pelosi's worth, what, $350 million? I mean, she's worth a ton of money. Joe Biden is worth one of the best stock pickers of all time. By the oh way. yeah, great, stock, her husband, great her husband, stock one market. of the best it, stock it pickers of all time. Wonder how when she has time. It's very she's, impressive. She's a legendary. You got to budget picker. your time like Elon yeah. Musk. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.